Okay, I'm going to make this down and dirty, and you'll see me looking down repeatedly to look at my notes. Uh, and please, uh, those of you who are scholars uh, in the art of soap making, don't jump on me because nobody wants to sit through an hour or so of me memorizing and trying to repeat back to you what in the heck all this is about. So this is about the history of soap. Uh, you know, they, they say that the bar soap that you're using today is probably uh, uh, one of the most ancient consumer products that there ever was. Uh, it likely originated by people cooking in an open fire, fat dripping into the ashes, and in that saponifying, you all know what saponifying means, don't you? Uh, and, and turning into soap. Uh, it turned into, <laughs> let's say, let's say soap, a slippery product that was good at lifting dirt. So somebody scratched their head and said, well gee, what's the common denominator here? Fat, uh, ashes, water getting in the ashes, and so somebody come up with the fact that you needed three things to kind of make soap. Uh, now, recipes for soap goes back 5,000 years. Uh, the Greeks, the, the Mesopotamian, I, I never, I can't pronounce those words, but Egypt, and Greece, and Rome, they all had uh, recipes on how to make soap. Ironically, most of the time, the soap wasn't used so much for uh, sanitary purposes as it was to set dyes and to use in other processes, but I digress. Uh, so we, we have people who have figured out that you have to have water, some type of, a, of a, a, an alkaloid, and you have to have fat. So they figured out that if you seeped water through ashes, you come out with a sort of potassium hydrate or something, uh, it's potash, okay? And the strength of that has to do with the type of ashes you use, how much you distill it, on and on and on. This was before chemical sodium hydroxide, okay? That's how a lot of the people made soap back, you know, early American history and whatever. They didn't have sodium hydroxide. They just took the white ash, the pot ash, and they put it in a, in a certain amount off of Granny's recipe, and they put it in a big iron pot with a bunch of fat from the pig, and they stirred it and added water and stirred it until it began to, you know, to gel, okay? And then from that point, they... They made it made soap, and there was all kinds of things they did. Like a lot of that soap was almost uh, it was kind of like a paste. It wasn't a hard bar soap. To get bar soap, they they uh, uh, added salt to it. That kind of solidified it, and then later they came upon uh, a chemical that was produced. And you can look all of this up. I'll try to put all of these websites where I got a lot of this information down below. And uh, y'all read it. it. It makes some really good uh, reading if you want to know about soap and how it came about being what it is. But with the advent of sodium hydroxide, uh, they were able to, say, get better fats, purer water, and then the sodium hydroxide, and they came up with soap. And so that's kind of the history of soap. Um, you know, uh, you could go on and on and on about this, but, but that's the early history of soap. People kept refining it and refining it until we have what we have today. You can use vegetable oil, uh, vegetable fats, if you will, lard, tallow, deer tallow, almost any kind of a fat. Sodium hydroxide uh, will make soap. Now, uh, there is another uh, alkaloid you can use. I won't get into that because almost everybody uses sodium hydroxide. Uh, lye, red devil lye is one of the things you used to get. In fact, the first soap I ever made was using red devil lye. I didn't have any sodium hydroxide. I found some red devil lye. It had some water. And actually, I used oil that I had cooked a turkey in. Yeah, I did. Because somebody asked me, did I know how, did I know how to make soap? And I said, no, but I will figure it out. So with a little online help, the ingredients I had on hand, I made soap, and it progressed from there. So that's kind of the history of soap. Uh, 
short and sweet. Uh, I will uh, conclude this video just based on that little bit of information that may or may not be of any use to you. But uh, the next video will be on cold process and hot process soap, what you need to make a basic bar and how you can do it. And then the third video will be on melt and pour. I will try to make some melt and pour base. I have some store bought commercial, but I'll try to make some. And then we will uh, uh, move on from the melt and pour soap. We will move on and finish up with things that you can do with all of your soaps. Additives, uh, embeds, on and on and on. All the things that I've experimented with and that I have seen experimented with on YouTube. YouTube's a great source of information. So, I'm Captain Mike. That is the first part of uh, this series. You guys hang in there. I appreciate it.